St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Miss Edith Calarco from Welland, Ontario, in memory of her brother Jimmy, who would have celebrated his birthday today. By choosing to remember your brother Jimmy in this way, you are joined by thousands of people across Canada, and on their behalf, I thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather here today to celebrate God's love for us in this Eucharist. In order to enter into the celebration more fully, let us call to mind our sins, and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, the source and origin of all fatherhood, you kept the blessed martyrs Andrew and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Through their intercession, enable us to spread your love among our brothers and sisters, that we may be called and may truly be your children. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Our reading from the book of Revelations. In my vision I looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his Father's name written on their forehead. And I heard a voice from heaven like the sound of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. And the voice I heard was, the was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they sing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These followed the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from humanity as first fruits for God and for the Lamb. And in their mouth no lie was found. They are blameless. The word of the Lord. Lift up their souls to what 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus looked up and saw rich people putting their gifts into the treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. He said, truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus. 